Okay, we got a session here. Three and a half year old lab who is leash reactive to dogs, dominant off leash, has gone after multiple dogs. She has done prong, she's done gentle leader, she's tried all positive, she's used multiple trainers. So we're gonna see how we can get, where we can get with this dog. We're gonna probably do the gentle leader and we're gonna do a lot of training of her, okay? I like to do one-off sessions. I wanna get her in, get it, they get the dog 80% better and then these people can go on with their lives, okay? In one session, that's the goal today. We're probably not gonna let him play with a bunch of dogs. We're gonna, it's all about passing, going on walks, stuff like that. Here we go. I read all your information. Okay. So he'll actually like nip at a person, huh? He has, I don't know, I know it's, he's a lab. He seems he thinks, nice. Right? He likes slow meetings. Yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah. and then he's fine, you know, but he has like, I've been on a walk, so I was like, oh, little dog, you know, stuck their hand right under his chin, and this is when I had him on a prong. Oh, oh, prong. Oh, prong, yeah. And he just, yeah. yeah, sounds like the prong, like you said, kind of did make him worse. Yeah, we've been having a lot of problems in the last week in that he hates fireworks or gunshots. And we have gunshots in our area because I think they're scaring birds in the morning. Oh. And he like refuses to go on a morning walk now. This is, by the way, what I'm seeing right now is the main thing we have to get rid of. Just uh, the pulling and the, like, he's constantly tight on the leash. Yeah. Look at his head, even with the gentle leader, which makes it pretty darn uncomfortable to do what he's doing. I know. It's a constant yeah. pull. Well, with before, with It this, was even worse. Oh gosh. Yeah, yeah. Look I, at him, yeah. though. I mean, this is, this is, this is 50 to 80% of our problem right here. Yeah. And I'm not gonna take the leash and I wanna build a relationship with him, sure. especially if he's been like a little bit, whatever, not cool with people. Okay, let's go, let's go down to the pasture. I want him to run and poop. Did you drive? I saw your area yeah, code 805. Yeah, I came from Ventura, so we did, he did do his Can business. I have some treats? So. Like just a treat bag? Um, say that again. He did do his business, so. He did? Yeah, we stopped along the way. Perfect. They'll usually poop again here, Yeah. but still, we'll see. Well, Sam? He's very yeah. Scent. Okay. Very, very scent. Very, you know, like he'll pee and then he'll scratch. Do me a favor. Give him about a foot more leash. Okay. I'm going to see what I'll do. Yeah. yeah I, I kind of let him cruise for a minute. It's all about the... It's all about smelling. He is a pee connoisseur. <laughs> Did you get that term from me? Probably. I that. say that and I don't know if anyone else <laughs> says that. I, I, I always I, say uh, it. You, Sam. Sam, Sam, did you change his name? Uh, he was a rescue, we have no you idea. You don't know his name, so you gave him a name. Any background. Sam, say his name. Sam, hey, you want a treat? Sam, he loves treats. Sam, fuck. Sam. You want a treat? Sam, bro, you are like, <laughs> he's, in his he's his own world, which a lot of them are. My dog to some degree with the smelling is like, just, it, it overrides a lot of things. Mm -hmm. But even, usually they kind of look on the click. You can take it off the gentle leader. When I click, they look off. That's fine. Let, let it, it, it's, we can work on it later. Okay. Do you know his first, you said he's three and a half or four and a half? Well, we don't know. When I went to the pound, they're like, oh, he's two. And I'm like, are you sure? And they're like, no, he's four. And, then <laughs> and they're like, I think he's three. So. Yeah, probably three. So he's, he's almost four because I got you, him in March. Do you know the first two years, uh, three years of his life? No. Nothing? I just know the last 10 months. That's okay. all I know. Okay. You go on walks? 
Yes, I tried to do every single day, two times a day, morning and afternoon. But lately, with the gunshots in the morning, he like gets into the driveway and he sits. I tried like hot dogs. I he mean, won't walk. Nope. Because he already heard them before. Well, he, he heard them and then he heard them enough times where he's now thinking he's going to hear them. So like we'll go right. into the driveway, we haven't heard one yet, and he just won't even... And you're pretty sure it's the gunshots? I'm pretty sure. Okay. Then you go on a walk, or you get on walks, sounds like. Yeah. You're just yeah. sometimes you don't. And every, day I, I, every day we do exercise. And he sees a dog being walked on a leash? Okay, and what does he do? So he freaks out. He, he starts... He, like, you know, just tries to get off the... You know, I mean, he just freaks out. He just has a moment where he just freaks out. Okay, all right. And then you just trudge along and you go, hey, we gotta go this way, they gotta come this way, we're getting through it. Well, there's, there's a house that has three Huskies and they're always there at their garage. The garage is open, there's a little gate. So we practice walking by them a lot and he's gotten to the point where he can ignore them pretty well. Sam! You don't need to do that, dude. Um, the scratching. Oh. He's a big scratcher. You know, he doesn't do that in my yard. Well, that's your pee. That's his pee. Oh, yeah. True. Um, so he, he, he freaks out. Then, like, yesterday, I took him to the blue printers, which I always do, and they have a glass door, and there was another door next to it, and I've never seen a dog there, and there was a dog there, and it was like a young husky, and he saw that dog and went from zero to 100 and just, you know, barking, just like a mean bark, not, not a nice bark, just a mean bark. You know, and so I just, I'm like, just put Yeah, it huskies down. elicit a reaction. Yeah. Worse than most. Okay. And you, He does pretty good. I've gotten him to be pretty good. If he sees a dog, like, across the street and we're walking, he's okay. But if that dog barks at him, whoo, then he's, you know. It's on. Yeah. When do you think he got neutered? When I got him. He was still intact he when you got him. He was still intact when I got him. And he, what, I, I, I wouldn't know the doggy daycare up there. But he was okay there, but pushy and... So I, I did that to kind of get him some running exercise. You know, as I have a small yard um, and socialization. Yeah, yeah. And they, they started saying, oh, he's humping other dogs. Yeah, for sure. They had another dog that was very, uh, you know, like the, the most docile dog. And that dog, it just, he pissed him off. Sam, hey, please. Just pissed him off because just constant. And I did have him with my uncle's lab, who's a yellow ten-year-old, very very mellow, and, and just so bold, just yeah. just shoving his. He looks nose bold. Right under there. And yeah. Just, you know. So I don't want to spend. Uh, uh, you drove four hours to get here, three hours. I want to do. I prefer to do a one-off session, okay, which makes our time management important sure. i don't think i don't think this dog should be like a get this dog with munch dogs dog okay unless you like really want it no whatever you think is going to be the it's most just going to be a battle you. like yeah. i know the type of dog the fact they went to doggy daycare and could be there is great it's doggy daycares are their own world like like they can be good there or okay there and you can still never take them to a dog park mm -hmm. and you can still never get them with that young dog because you're not sure like it's just tough and from what i'm seeing just his personality i don't think you're going to be comfortable doing it yeah. and i don't it's going to take a lot of work for us to change his personality right. really right. to be like no you need to be submissive and nice to dogs and be able to take a dog trying to dump like it's a, it's a lot of work yeah. to do that mm -hmm. and he's three and a half he's not a puppy like you could live your life going on walks and having your very happy dog. Mm -hmm. He's happy. Yeah. This dog, I don't think, my gut tells me he doesn't need dogs to be happy. He's already the ha super happy. Look yeah. at him. If you could f take him to a field and let him smell and pee over other dogs' pee and then go on walks mm -hmm. without other dogs at the field, your, your dog is content in life. Yeah. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. Do you agree? Yeah, yeah. Because time-wise, we could suck up all the time and then three more sessions on just getting with dogs. Right. That right. doesn't make sense. Yeah. And I'm not saying, hey, listen, if we need more sessions, we need more sessions. Yeah. 
This dog's happy without dogs in his life. Look at him. So, so, what I think we do is we go up there, we go gentle leader on. That's not a gentle leader. Right. It works okay. pretty much the same. Yeah. Did you choose that over a gentle leader for any reason? Because of the padding. The padding, yeah. Because it wore the well, gentle leader like, wore off, or you just like the padding? No, I never did the gentle leader, but it was at the point where I was like, oh my gosh, something's got to change. And so I just, this was what I It's got. similar. Yeah. It's but fine. But I do notice it's starting to, um, this, the clasp is starting to like, seems like it's not holding. That's. So I might have to get. Oh, we could go up and put a gentle leader on him. Yeah. Okay. He has conditions. So then we're, yeah. Then we're going to put Prince on the deck and I am going to work him. Okay. And I'm going to figure out okay. what works and what doesn't work. Okay. And if he's not, if he doesn't get better with me in 10 minutes of working him, that's telling. If he gets way better, mm -hmm. okay, you learn the process. Then we get into one of my trainers grabs a dog and we pass dogs. Okay. And we really teach you the skills. Yeah. You have seen the videos. You've seen the stopping mm -hmm. method. Mm -hmm. Like on walk, da, 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 mm -hmm. stop down into the side. Mm -hmm. But we got to perfect it. No one does it that yeah. good. Yeah. It's really like a very specific low 80-20 mm -hmm. as I yeah. call it. He's providing 80% of his own correction. Mm -hmm. You're providing 20. Mm -hmm. And then what's the criteria to like move on? Like, is it him looking at you? Is it him not barking? Is it him not pulling? We got to figure that out. Sound good? Yes, that sounds great. Okay, let's go, Sam. Good boy. That's our good boy. Okay, I am ready. You're gonna see your friend? <gasps> That's our good boy. You gonna see your friend? Okay. Yeah, that's your buddy. Okay. God, he, he takes that. It like doesn't affect him. That was kind of how the problem was too. It just didn't seem to. It just, his, his whole, he, he works his whole body to. Look at that. You want water or are you faking me out? Oh, that's what we're over more than anything. He's got this final pull, like to get to a tree to pee, that's really crazy. Yes, I do notice. That was the final pull to the water and he takes his whole body and he leans in. Last, like, yeah, five feet. And then just yanks yep. Really hard. I see why you're just like, okay, I'm just gonna walk him like this. It's well, easier than. Bro, okay. Sam. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, Prince wants to play with you. Hmm. His hair's up now. He probably just now learned Prince is unneutered. And his hair, I believe, went up right on the learning he's unneutered. Because it wasn't up, I don't think, until now. Or until a minute ago. I could be wrong. All right. I still think we don't battle the... Even if he could make a friend today, I, uh, which probably could, I just don't think we do it. Yeah. I don't think it's worth it. Yeah. It would be good. It wouldn't be great. Like him making one friend. Okay, that's cool. Right, and to what end? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sam. Sam.
Leave it. Sam. 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 Takes treats hard too. I do. I'm ready. Sam. Dude. It's got a lot of energy too. He had a long car ride. Yeah. But no, I mean not not bad, not even that much, but he's Yeah, I see. He's like, he's like, I'm watching you. I'm in front of you. He's hard to get Leave it. Right next to you. Did you see that? My, he walked. I'm walking. I'm walking. You caught a knee. Yeah. Don't walk and not look where you're going. Okay. Sam. Oh my God. You're savvy, dude. Leave it. Smells the air when they pass a lot. Okay, I'm just learning. I'm learning about him. Okay, they like to smell the air. He wants to look at the dog. It seems, uh, it's like, do we, do we get him to like, do we lure him up with a treat and get him to not look at the dog? That's a fight that we might lose because he just, he's like, hell no. I wanna smell the air, right? Same thing as smelling the dog, is smelling all that pee. Or do we say, as long as you don't freak out, as long as you don't pull, you can do whatever you want but you can't freak out and pull. Like, we gotta find, leave it. I said, leave it. He said, no. Okay. Okay, walk, please. You walk him on your left, I saw, so that's, Okay, in a minute, I'm gonna give you instruction. We're gonna get a new dog, we're gonna pass. I think we do go on a walk today. We gotta get it here, you do it learning what to do. Me learning what to do, in a way, like figuring him out. Okay, let's do another pass. I'm ready. Good boy. Leave it. Listen, and I know this is better than usual, right? Good boy. Oh, that is our good boy. That is our good boy. Okay, real close dog to dog. I'm gonna try to leave it maybe. Good boy. Good boy. Now he's over the like I'll look at you, Joel. Okay, let's go one more dog. I'm gonna work him for one more dog because I wanna see if just the luring with a new dog can help. And then we can do some combination of leaving you pop, luring, leaving you pop, luring. You know what I mean by luring? Because yeah. if, if all you have, not all you had to do, but if part of the deal was like, hey, look at me instead of the dog with a treat, that's good, right? Yeah. In a perfect world, you just walk and he'd be a good boy, but you okay with using a treat to pass the dog? You'd, Sometimes I do that, I'll just be in a sit? I like to walk. Yeah. I like to keep, it's, it's like sit, stay, do this, is almost, you just can't keep doing it yeah. in your life. Right. 
but I feel like walking and luring people could do. That's what I think. It's just, it's the middle of the road. You can't tell people that, that there's just constant work forever. Like we have to find a middle of the road, you know? I am ready. Sam, good boy. So I think I'm gonna try to treat him after every good thing he does. Look at that dog, Sam. That guy's kind of wild like you are. Okay. Good boy, Sam. Oh, he's over it. Okay, let's go real close. He's already over it. Good boy. Okay. Let's, she's gonna pass a dog here, then we're gonna have you go or Tyler go up on the street and we're gonna have a dog set up. Sound good? Okay, will you get whoever you want next? Okay, you ready? Okay, okay. hold on. So here's the attitude. Okay, here's the attitude. The attitude is you're chill as a cucumber, okay? The attitude is Sam goes nowhere that Sam decides to go. So if you're standing here waiting for the dog to come out and Sam goes, I feel like wandering over there, you're gonna go. I want you to get in the habit of going down into the side right. The correction is not here, yeah. the correction is here. He is creating his own correction. Mm -hmm. So if you're standing here and he decides to go, tut, 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 you're gonna go, give him a little pop, 80-20. Then he's gonna snap out of it and it's gonna be way better when you pass that dog because you set the tone. Then. Just because you take a step and Carly's walking this way with the dog and he starts to go, that doesn't mean you are gonna continue taking steps. Uh, you, you should probably, as Carly comes, stop. Sam goes, yeah, dog, pop. Down into the side, pop. And then when he goes, what's up, mom? Which he will. And I'm not saying he will on a walk every time, but we gotta start somewhere. Looks at you, you then can go, okay, you're with me. And then you keep walking. Maybe he leaves you again, stop. We gotta get this dog learning that he does not go where he wants to go, that he has to keep an eye on you to, to know where this crazy lady's going. She might be turning, she might be stopping. And once we get him split focus, right now, all he does is see a dog mm -hmm. and without alluring of a treat, he goes, dog, I don't know her, I don't care about her. And we have to get him going, dog, uh, uh, but where's this lady at? Dog, uh, but where's this lady at? And once we're there, we're good. Because we're not going to get this dog acting like the 10 year old chill lab. It's yeah. just not him <laughs> till he's 10. Yeah. But we got to get him halfway there. Yeah. Split focus. <laughs> okay. So you have that term in your brain. Okay, come over here. Sam. Oh. Good. I just wanted to show you one more. Okay, he's on your left. Okay, I'm going to walk with you. So the walk starts right now. Right. Wait, wait, wait. Stop. Just, I mean, the, he's on leash. You're not uh -huh. walking. Okay. Um, Go ahead and come out. Don't be afraid to drop that leash uh -huh. when he leaves you. To, to, I call it giving enough rope to hang himself. Yeah. You wanna, you wanna go? I'll, I'll let you go six feet out, yeah. pop. Yeah. I want you to take three steps and then stop. Kind of okay. hold the leash a little high. Right there. Okay. Ready? So you stay there, Carly. This is a big dog. <laughs> Ready? Three steps okay. and stop. He's with you. Tell him he's a good boy. Yeah, okay, and walk. Go pretty close, Carly. You can walk, Carly. Good. Tell him he's a good boy. He is a great boy. Okay, pass real close, dog, to up, right there. Okay, so even those little things are what's gonna separate me from you. It was small, you came here, he kinda... Kinda... Yeah, okay, go ahead. Real close dog to dog. I think he's gonna yep. be great, but. Oh, you give him a heel kill. Okay, walk. Tell him he's a great boy. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Pop, stop. 
Pop. Don't worry about the set. Okay. That's I do yeah. sit all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't <laughs> want it. I feel it like I do that to control him, but totally. I see what you're saying. Better to pop him and have him control himself. Yeah, he's going, I go where I go, and then the slave says sit, and then I sit. Like, yeah, yeah. you got to get him thinking for himself and uh -huh. looking at you. He's okay. listening for you now. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's why I don't give a lot of cues. Yeah. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to put Connery away. You are going to walk him down to, and walk around that pasture, and we are going to release him to smell things. And we, that's the real world. Like, he's, he's been there, but he's going to want to smell and there's no dogs, but we got to get the no dog stuff first. Like, trust me. Okay, come on. You're going to walk with us, Tyler. Go ahead and walk. Yeah. Stop. Pop. Oh, good. He's with you. Walk into him. Good. Let's just say no smelling on this. Oh, he can smell the ground. Pop. Okay, less pulley, more poppy. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. stop very, very and bink. <laughs> okay. okay, bring him back. Walk down there. Walk down to the pasture. Stop. Pop. Walk. Get ready to stop. Stop. He's with you, walk. I'm gonna get that gate for you. Pop. If we have to pop him 10 times in the next five feet, we'll pop him 10 times yeah. in the next five feet. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? I think I'm relying on my other cute, like I, I realize I say hey a lot and just a little tug, right? So yeah. I need to knock that off and yeah. just do the pop. You need to make Otherwise, a point. Otherwise I'm constantly doing these little tugs. You don't get it. Yeah. You don't care. Okay, and you happen to be standing here so we can let him cruise and whatnot. He's a high peer. He gets his leg up there. He wants every dog to know how big he is. Oh, is that what it is? Well, uh, think about why they lift their legs so high. Okay. It's like, that must be a big dog if he could pee that high. Okay, ready? Um, walk. There's no leaving you. Stop. He's with you, walk. Go where you wanna go. Go around the edge, good. Walk into him and go a little to your left. You're going where you want to go. Good. Good. That was great, actually. It was jet. It was little, but it was consequential. Good. We're trying to make a point. He is being good, but we're still making a point. Turn the other way. Oh. I mean, I'm not saying you don't ha ever have that in real life. You certainly didn't have that when you came in this place, but he's also desensitized to this place. I get it. Turn the other way. I'll let him scratch if he wants to scratch. He looked like he wanted to scratch. Okay, walk by the tree line. Good, your leash is good, your arm is good. If you want to let him pee, let him pee. If you don't, don't. It's up to you. Yeah, it's a good pee spot. Maybe let it. Okay, when you feel like going on your walk, go on your walk. Oh, tell me he's a good boy when he does that. That's good. Can I see him? You're doing great. What are you smelling, dude? Okay, Sam, let's go. Good. So try to get that where when you turn and he goes, I'm going to you, you're taking that right leg and you're going, I'm going over here. It's just another way to get him to look at you. Did you see that? No. Okay. Okay. Turn. Oh, I see. Like, it's just another way to get him to, to always be like, where's this lady? Yeah. Okay. Good. That's how you get off leash control, by the way. All of this stuff. 
See all these turns? He says, I want to stop. No, you got enough energy to whine. You got enough energy to walk. Leave it. Okay. And then you can get to like off leash, you know, and like, ah, oh, way too soon. Joel's crazy. Okay. It's the attitude of I don't care what you do. Like, to be bad. I don't be bad. Leave me. I don't, it doesn't matter to me. Like, this is happening. Do, do you know what I'm saying? Don't hold him back. No. Don't hold him back from anything. If he, even right, he smelled that tree, then he went to smell that. You let him smell that. I agree with you. It was only three feet. My dog's the same way. He wants to smell everything. But if you don't feel like letting him do that, he wandered over there, pop. It makes a point. Okay, I'm gonna do one more quick one. Then I think we go on a walk. Thing is too, he has enough energy to deal with this. Like he's got all this energy so, so that was his three foot pole. Yeah. I never let any dog, and when my dog was young and he was really pulling and smelling everything, I would let him kind of cruise and do his thing, but that final three foot pole, hell no. Yeah. Because he'll just hunker down and go for it. Yeah. Just like him, my dog did the same thing. Okay, um, I never let that happen. And then I would even go like, he wants to smell this. I stopped because he did his three foot pull. Then, okay, release to do his thing. But it's not with that final pull. You can actually train him to start to get close to a tree and go, oh my God, I wanna pee on that tree more than I, anything in my life. But he goes, what's up lady? And on that, key, on that look, you go, okay. And you let him, you don't even have to give a correction. Well, he didn't do anything wrong. He looked at you, so then you go, okay. And then I'll like loosen the leash and be like, smell dude, you looked at me before the tree. First time ever, literally first time ever. I don't think he's ever gotten to a pee spot and looked at you. That'd be my guess. It's a pull. Yeah. Okay. He's on a leash. I let him cruise. I'm not letting him cruise beyond the five foot, two arm, seven foot deal. There's just some rules that always apply. He can smell, he can do his thing. You gotta look at me. I mean, it's an attitude. This is not, this is a field. This isn't a street, but we gotta start somewhere. Oh, you're with me. Oh, he's the best boy in the whole world. Okay. Oh, you. So, okay, I'm gonna let you, we're gonna have Tyler or Carly take a dog and meet us out there. 